Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make a real estate ebook lead magnet with ChatGPT. Inside Balan Academy, if you have access to the course, you've purchased the course, you're going to be able to see each lesson. And if you hover over the navigate to this little guide me box will open, click guide me. It's going to open your chat GPT account in a new window. This is going or a new tab. This is going to allow you to run my tutorial right alongside the chat so that you can access the prompt. So here's the prompt. Pretend you are a real estate agent. Create an ebook that tells a home buyer exactly what to expect in the home buying process. This ebook should have a title, table of contents, and many pages. Each section should be comprehensive and exhaustive with the exact steps. Give examples, include steps in the process, use bullet points, cover everything a buyer would need to know. You're in Nevada, so I'm putting in my location, which is an escrow state rather than an attorney state. You represent the buyer, use markdown, number each page. This is a very comprehensive prompt. So all you have to do is highlight that prompt, click copy, paste in your field, whether you're using 3.5 or 4.0, and you can test and measure those. 3.5 is a free version right now that everybody has. 4.0 right now is the one that is uh, the pro subscription. Later, it'll probably be four is free and 4.5 is, you know, as they roll out new versions. So it doesn't matter, but you can test and see if you get different results. And then what we're going to do is just change it where it says Nevada to your state. And if you are in a state that it uses real estate attorneys versus escrow, then put that. Okay. So I wanted that to be clear because we use escrow here in Nevada rather than attorneys. So I'm going to press the send message and see what it gives me here. So here's the title, the ultimate guide to home buying in Nevada, your step-by-step -step handbook. Here's the table of contents, page one, introduction, page two, understanding the, your needs and budget, page three, getting pre-approved for a mortgage, page four, finding your dream home, page five, making an offer, page seven, conducting inspections, page eight, reviewing disclosures and documents, page nine, finalizing the mortgage and appraisal, page 10, closing the deal. Let's see. And then it finishes with receiving the keys to your new home. Now, if we press continue generating, if it wasn't done, it would continue. So page three, post closing tasks and moving in. Page 12 is your conclusion. Great. Now, it basically gave you the entire outline of the ebook. There's a couple of ways you can move on from here. You can open a new chat and you can start with the first phase. All right, so let's do page one, the introduction. You can work right from in here from the same chat or you can go to a new chat. We'll do it from here. I'll just start here. So I'm going to say, um, let's create page one, the introduction. And then let's just see what it does. So down here, page one, the introduction. Welcome to the ultimate guide to home buying in Nevada. In this comprehensive ebook, we'll walk you through the entire home buying process in Nevada. This is perfect. Buy homes exciting. Throughout the following pages, we'll cover everything you need to know from understanding your needs and budgets. Okay, so now you've got your page one. Okay, now you can create your ebook using Canva. You can create your ebook using a Word document. You can use a special tool like BookBolt is one of those out there. Um, it, it doesn't matter if you want to keep this really stupid, simple. I like to just go right in and create a word document. I don't think I've opened. Let me see if I've opened that on this computer yet. Okay. Let me open Microsoft word. Okay. I'll just go to a blank document. I'm going to keep this really simple. You could choose one that has chapters and headers and all that on it. But watch what happens when we just paste that in. Whoops, let me do that another way. Let's do it this way. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. And I'm going to go over to the Word document. Paste. There we go. So this is page one, the introduction. Now, if you wanted to 
you could add an image up here, right? So maybe we're working within Canva and we're just playing with, it could be any images. They could, you could find horizontal images. You could find um, regular square images. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick one. Let's do home buying just for a quick example. Okay, so there you go. So now you're going to go to share and I'm going to go to download JPEG and I'll put a link in this um, lesson to Canva for you. So I'm going to put home buying and I'll put this in my, let me just put it in my documents right now so I can find it. And then go back to your Word and you can either drag and drop that into your Word document if it allows you to do that. I don't think mine's going to let me do that. That's yeah, I'd probably rather work with pages because I think pages would let me do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to go up here to go insert pictures, picture from file, and I'm going to go to documents, find the home buyer's guide. There we go, right? So this is really simple. This is to me the simplest way to create an ebook. Then if you want to get that all on one page, you can play around with the size of your image and then maybe you want to center that or you could play with your fonts, you could play with the margins on the page, you could take out a section, whatever it is to get that all onto one page. So maybe we don't even need that last little portion there, right? Then you're gonna go down to the second section and you're going to grab, let's grab your table of contents. Remember that was up here? So table of contents. Or if, you, if you're familiar with creating uh, with Word, you can have it create a, a table of contents. So the difference is, I got to remember in this case, click the clipboard. Don't just don't just use the the copy and paste shortcuts. Click the clipboard to get it to paste correctly. See, okay. So you can play. Oh, it copied the whole thing, but that's okay. You can play around with that table of contents. You could make this larger. We could put in images, or we could add that to the first section. Or you could even say, add a small description to each table of contents and chat GPT will expand that, okay? But in this particular case, let's just go, you make another image and you would do the same thing up here. You grab the image and put it there, okay? Then you would go down and go to page three, getting pre-approved for mortgage. So now I'm gonna say, write page three. There it goes getting pre-approved for a mortgage. Now, my suggestion is that you go through this and make sure it fits It fits your state, that it makes sense. Is there anything that you need to elaborate on? You don't want to be giving misinformation, right? That's related to where you live. So watch out for that. So I would just go down to my new page, create a new page here, because pretend we finished out that table of contents page. And now we're printing, doing the getting pre-approved for a mortgage. And you're probably just going to make that um, a larger font or heading or however you want to play with that. And we're going to put that in the middle. And then maybe you put an image up here. And then this this really covers like two pages of that ebook. So this is the concept. This is how you create that ebook. If you want something prettier or fancier, you can go to Canva. When you're done with Word, when you're done creating your ebook, all you have to do is go up here to, let's see, we're going to go to File. And then we're going to do share and you're going to do send. Actually, let me file save as. And then right here, just change that to a PDF. Okay. And then sample ebook. And then any links you put in here would be live. So let's just say here where it says compare mortgage options. Maybe you have a blog on your real estate website about comparing mortgage options. You could just hover over this and then you're going to uh, right click and put hyperlink. And then you would just paste in that URL to your blog, whatever that .com is, whatever the domain it is for that particular page. You would just paste it here. Then when you save this to a PDF, all of your links are going to be live. So this is an amazing, fantastic way to use ChatGPT to help you create a lead magnet, right? Thanks for joining me today and stay tuned for your next lesson.